I was fortunate enough to be deployed to uh, the Bahamas in September of 2019 in response to Hurricane Dorian. That was rather unique. Um, my background was search and rescue with the Canadian Coast Guard prior to being becoming a police officer. And we had partnered with the Sea Shepherd, a ocean conservation group, to actually transit our global medic team out to some of the remote islands uh, outside of Abaco and including Abaco to get a sense of what the disaster or how the disaster had affected people and what the needs truly were. We arrived at a small fishing community called Sweetings Key. The population is only about 200 people, self-sustained community um, for fishing. Um, like so many of the islands and with the magnitude of the hurricane, it was absolutely devastated. We went in on a small tender. We lived aboard the Sea Shepherd and it was the welcoming and the courage and the tenacity of the people of this island, as there were so many in the Bahamas disaster, uh, that welcomed us regardless of their circumstance. And yet, as I looked beyond the person that welcomed us at shore, you saw nothing but just personal belongings strewn everywhere, every building devastated. Uh, we met uh, Miss Kay, who is still, I still keep in touch with her via text to check in on how her home's being rebuilt, uh, who showed us around. And I was a little speechless, just wondering how can this person have be laughing with us and having such a positive outlook on life. Uh, very strong faith um, and that belief that, well, this is what the card we were dealt and we were just going to continue being strong and coming together as a community and we will get through this like we have. Uh, walking with her, pointing to things on the upper branches of trees and saying, oh, that was my favorite blouse or, and, and Again, I just could not believe this, this, this sense of we will get through this and hope and courage that by coming together as a team and as a community, they would survive together. Um, and more concerned about ensuring that we had water and food as helpers than what she really needed. So we uh, were back and forth for about a four day period on that particular community. Uh, and it was just the hard work that they would be at the work sites helping with us rather than cleaning up their own uh, foundation or house disaster and just saying, what can we do to be together? So it's almost like we became a survival family together by just working hand in hand. And I still am inspired by that type of um, courage and outlook and getting updates from her via text about just, and still that happy tone of, you know, we, we're alive and my family's alive and that's something to celebrate. So that's definitely something that resonates with me every day.